Hey guys, welcome back to another video of the Knowledge Cafe series. In today's video, I am going to tell you how you can score 10 to 15 extra marks in your theory subjects, which is law and audit for CA inter and CA final examination. So please hit the subscribe button for more such videos and stay tuned. Thank you. So the first and foremost thing is ki naya answer naye page se start hoga. Uh, every answer should begin with a fresh page and during in the middle of the page you have to write answer to question number whatever you are attempting say 4a in this example then in the second stage what you have to do is you have to break your answers in three parts introduction explanation and analysis conclusion let me give you an example suppose there is a question on uh, say section 138 appointment of internal auditors right so there is a company given say a limited whose paid up capital is more than 50 crores and the question is straight and simple that whether the company is uh, has to appoint an internal auditor or not. So every answer has a writing technique. So if you just write ki yes, uh, A limited ka 50 crore se upar hai and it satisfies the criteria of section 130, you will not get marks. There is a skill for, uh, there is a marks for the skill of presentation and how you disclose and display your answer. So your objective should be to divide the answers in three parts. The first part is introduction. The second part is the explanation and analysis. The third will be the conclusion. So what do you include in introduction? In introduction, it will be just what the section demands and what is the accurate, the question asks, asks about. For in this case, according to section 138 of the Companies Act and then write what the section says. Yeah, as per section 138 of the Companies Act, as per section 139, or if it is a standards on auditing question, maybe say SA 500, SA 550, 700, whatever it is. First, this you you know discuss and just write the provision over there ki examiner ko samajh mein aana chahiye ki ha boss aapko section aur wo hit kar gaya hai ki aapko kaun sa uh, answer kaun sa section lagana hai is question mein second aayega aapko wo question ka explanation karna hai aur anal analysis karna hai ki wo kaise aapka us section mein baith raha hai so then you have to describe ki in this case given a limited is a public company with 60 crores turnover for example in the previous year 1920 as per the criteria stated above a company can appoint an internal auditor if uh, if the paid up capital is more than 50 crores and all so you can explain it you can explain it in para wise but i'm just explaining ki aapko wo answers ko break karne ka technique kaisa kyunki jab examiner check karega usko clearly dikhna chahiye the bifurcation of the paragraphs of the answer so that they he or she knows Yes, you know the section, you know what uh, subsection and what clauses that you have applied and whether your conclusion is right or not. And lastly, conclusion hoga. Hence, we conclude that given A limited can appoint the internal auditor as per section 130 of the Companies Act. Plain and simple. Trust me, each and every step will can fetch you one or two extra marks. If this is a four mark answer question, if you write in an ordinary way, you might get two or two and a half. But if you write this accordingly, you might even get up to four. Yes, I have got up to four when I saw my papers, when I got my uh, checked papers. Three and a half, four is my mil sakta. And yes, you don't have to apply to each and every question. If you have question, apne answers mein around 15-20% of your answers are according to this. Not You cannot apply uh, the same technique in every question. Ki sab mein, shuru se lega tak bas yehi karte rahe, introduction de di explanation. Nahin. Koi koi question ka specific uh, mode hai, answer karne ka. Jase, suppose koi section ke baare mein poochha, 139 ke baare mein poochha, 138 ke baare mein poochha, ya suppose koi standard and audit in ke poochha, chartered accounting, ethics ke baare mein poochha, then these are the, this is the best thing that you can uh, apply in your answer. And trust me, this will, each and every answer, if there are 10 questions like this, each question will give you one, one and a half extra marks. This can be the deciding factor whether you reach 50, whether you reach 40, or even if you reach 60. So I hope you found this video to be interesting. Please leave a like and let me know what else I can help you with. Thank you.